Live from Peabody Place in downtown Memphis. This is News Channel 3, live at 9, with Alex Coleman and Mary Beth Conley. Here's what we have going on this morning on News see. Channel 3, live at 9. Well, American sacrifices lead to stability in Iraq, we talk with one of the country's governmental leaders, who also happens to be the son of Iraq's president, about who will stand up as America stands down. Our first guest, though, is a representative to the U.S. from the Kurdistan Regional Government of Iraq. He is also son of Iraqi President Jalal Talabani. Gwabad Talabani works very closely with the U.S. government and research institutions here in the U.S. to provide critical information on Iraq and the Kurdistan region. The Kurdistan region, of course, is considered the most safe and really most stable area in Iraq and, and uh, doing well economically. Welcome to Thank Memphis. Thank you. Glad to have you here. Here last night, uh, you spoke to a, a group at Rhodes. What were the questions you heard here on the ground, and do they differ from what you hear when you meet with government officials? Uh, obviously, um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's great to be on your show. Um, it's great to be back in Memphis, and I uh, very much enjoyed my talk last night because it gives me a real sense of what's on the minds of Americans. Right. Um, it's very Which sometimes easy. filtered through the, the media is a bit different, Filtered through I the imagine. media, and it's also, when you're in Washington, D.C., there is this kind of beltway mentality. And it's Which good is to, where you live now. Yes, it's where, where I'm based. But, but So getting out here, you, you get a sense of what, what um, average Americans are thinking, what the general public is, is thinking. And it was, I think the question was, is, is Iraq ready to, to stand up? That, that right. was the, the prevailing theme. It was the, pretty much the, the title of my um, talk last night, and um, I think the in, in short answer that there are parts of Iraq that are further developed, more advanced, mm -hmm. and, and ready to stand up. The, the Kurdistan, Kurdistan region, region one. Is, is one of them, um, but the politics in, in Baghdad, the politics on a national level, um, still has a ways to go. But the U.S. engagement is transitioning. We know that the U.S. is now planning a, a gradual withdrawal of its forces mm -hmm. from the country, but that doesn't necessarily mean a, a disengagement from the United States. Right. The U.S. has a lot to offer Iraq in, in engaging politically and engaging with trying to promote economic development. So it, I think we're starting to see a broadening of U.S. engagement with, with Iraq, and I think this is good for, for the country and it'll be good for the U.S. And what about the people of Iraq? How do they feel about this, especially that slow process of American forces slowly but surely beginning to pull out? Are they ready for this? Well, we'll see. Um, we've seen the violence um, sporadic over the last several months, so, so we know that um, outside of the Kurdistan region, the, the, the situation is still is still a bit tenuous. Mm -hmm. Kurdistan, thankfully, is, is safe and secure, and, and economic development is is booming there, and there's a lot of in industry, there's a lot of activity there. A lot of innovation and, and entrepreneurship there. Uh, very much so, and we're hoping to replicate that. In, in the rest of the country, and we're trying to send a message in Kurdistan by saying, if we can do it, if we can overcome the many challenges that we've had, um, the prognosis for the rest of the country is also good. But How for other you? regions, though, what slows down that process, especially when you spoke about politically speaking, not everybody's on board? Two components. One is the security situation. Mm -hmm. You cannot build buildings, and you cannot build up the mm -hmm. infrastructure. Right. You can't have people spend their money when there's a, an insecure climate. Right. Kurdistan has that secure climate. Um, to right. date, I'm, I'm proud to say that we have not lost one American soldier, or, or one American soldier has been even injured in combat in, in the Kurdistan region. So it's a statistic we're proud of. We, we always <laughs> knock on knock wood. wood. <laughs> um, right. We want to keep that statistic the way it is. And uh, I think that the, what's missing right now in the rest of the country is, is faith in the institutions. In Kurdistan, there is a, a, a a workable relationship between the people of the Kurdistan region and the government of mm -hmm. the Kurdistan region. We're trying to get that emulated in, in other parts of the country because once people take ownership over the towns, over the cities, over the villages, they'll, they'll feel more uh, comfortable about securing it, about passing on the right information to the authorities. The people of other regions, though, must, I mean, any, one of the reasons for the security problems is that any time, I mean, there's, there are parts of Iraq that are so devastated by the war, and they've lost everything, and so that must breed a certain um, unrest, uh, allowing for groups that would like to disrupt the process to come in. How do you, 
How do you instill that confidence in people who have lost families and homes and entire villages? And, you know, what do you do? I, I, Iraq has had a very tough history. For the last 80 years, it's, 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 the country has never been stable. The country has never been really safe and prospering and developing. There's been dictatorship after dictatorship. Right. And now right. we have right. the situation um, that we have now. Iraq has many enemies, enemies in the region. Um, I, enemies that are and ideological and, and they, yeah. they want to not just topple Iraq but they want America's effort in Iraq to fail mm -hmm. and I think this is where Iraqis have to stand together they have to look at what we've done in Kurdistan they have to use that as a model because we cannot have this effort fail mm -hmm. Iraq is on the path to democratic self-governance it is very complicated there are many different opinions that need to be pleased there are many different challenges that the country faces there is the issue of disputed internal boundaries, we have the issue of oil and gas management and revenue sharing. Right. So these are huge issues, but these are the, the pillars of, the, of, the, of this new country. Um, so it'll take time for the Iraqis to overcome their differences, to work out a political agreement. And I think it is critical that the U.S. remain engaged with us at this juncture as we're trying to work out these political differences. Do you feel Iraqis are standing together, though, with the perception of America, because mm -hmm. obviously we're in your country, but also fighting in another war in Afghanistan. Right. A lot of people even based here are saying maybe this country is stretched too thin, we're involved in too many other places. What's the perspective of America there? I think there is an understanding um, in Iraq that, that the United States um, wants, a, wants to have a different policy mm -hmm. for Iraq, and especially this administration. Um, but, but there is also the, the, a fear that if the U.S. pulls out too soon and the Iraqi security services and the institutions of Iraq are not ready to stand up on, on their own feet, that the, the great progress that's been made so far um, could certainly unravel. And that, that's, a, that's a growing fear among um, people that we speak to. Well, and do you feel that the U.S. government, the current administration, does understand that, that we must complete, we must have success, or the whole region will then be in trouble. Do you really feel the resolve? I, I, the, the feeling I'm getting is that this administration is serious about ensuring that they leave behind a viable, sustainable um, Iraq. Uh, and, and that is a challenge. It, it, it doesn't um, really conform to what the average, the, the general public in America wants, which is a, a, a withdrawal of U.S. forces. We understand that. We sympathize with that. We, we mourn the losses of Americans when, when, the, when they suffer casualties in, in, in Iraq. But we also understand that this is a, a venture that we've taken together. And, and it's important that we stand together in this final stretch as we build up the institutions that we need to build up. All right. Very interesting there. Very interesting. Thank you. Please come again to Memphis. My and pleasure, And when you too. do, we'd love to have you Thank here. Thank you. It's great to, to be on. Glad to have you back here. Okay.